In this video, I'm going to take you through downloading and installing Joomla using XAMPP. Now, as a friendly reminder, you have already seen how to use Joomla with MAMP, but in this video, we're going to focus on XAMPP. Now, under the Joomla downloads here, I'd like to point out that you have two options, four and three. What we're looking for is the LTS, or long-term service version of Joomla, which can be found under Joomla 3. So we're going to go ahead and look at the versions inside of this category here. So go ahead and click to view the categories. And whenever you click, what you'll see is all of the releases of Joomla 3. We want to work with Joomla 3.10.2 with its last release on Tuesday, September 14th, 2021. So I'm going to go ahead and view the files. And under here, you're going to see three distinct options as far as how you want to download the package. I'm going to favor the zip. So I'm going to download now. Now, to actually export this into your XAMPP htdocs folder, this is going to take a little while. However, notice that I exported the elements into a Joomla folder. This is for consistency, just so that you can remember which CMS we are working with. You can also note there's still a WordPress folder under here. However, in real world, what you will want to do is you will want to actually name these folders based on the site that you're working with. So remember, you can change the name of the folder. However, for demonstration purposes and learning purposes, I'm going to keep these the same as far as Joomla and WordPress. Now, inside of the Joomla folder, I have extracted out all of the elements from the zip folder. This portion goes a little bit faster as far as whenever you are working with Joomla. I'm now ready to come into XAMPP, and you can see that I already have Apache and MySQL running. So under MySQL, I'm going to click on Admin. We're going to have to create a new database for the Joomla website. So over on the left-hand side here again, you're going to choose New. And under the database name, we're going to go ahead and give it a name specific to the Joomla site. Additionally, we're going to scroll up and choose Collation, and then Create. Notice, too, how you have multiple databases, including a WordPress database stored in the PHP MyAdmin. Now, once this database is created for Joomla, we are now ready to go in and actually start the installation process and set up for our Joomla CMS. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to make a new tab here, and we're going to go to Localhost, and we're going to do forward slash Joomla. This is going to be the name of the folder that you are working with. And this is what you should now see. You should now see the install page for taking you through the different steps. So what we're going to do here first is under the main configuration, we're going to set up a site name that can be changed later. Additionally, you're going to want to provide a description of what the site is about. This is another element that can be changed later. So I'm going to go ahead and just talk about that this is practicing with Joomla. Now the super account is the administrative account for your overall website. So you're going to want to make sure that you do have an actual email account attached to this. But then normally what folks will do is we'll use a username such as admin, and then you'll want to set up the password. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on next. Now we need to set up the database. We're not going to need to change the database type or the host name since we are working on local host. However, for the username, some things to point out regarding this. The username for the database is actually going to be a little bit different. Since we're working in localhost and we're making the database, the username for Joomla is actually stored inside of the database. So for our username for the database, we are going to want to use the word root, all lowercase. Additionally, we are not concerned with a password here as there is no password for the database. However, we're going to need to put in the database name of the database that we just created. So if you need to, you can come back to the PHP MyAdmin and double check the name of your database. Again, we will use no password, and now we're ready to hit next. Now we want to finalize. And as far as the installation of sample data, you actually have several options as far as the finalization. If you hover over each of the radio areas, you're going to get a pop-up telling you what type of data 
or what elements of Joomla will be installed with the overall Joomla website. So as you can see, I'm hovering over each of these and it's giving you background on what will be included. If you have time and are interested, I strongly encourage you to think about actually installing several Joomla's and looking at the different options here. However, for this demonstration here, we are going to use the Learn Joomla option. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that radio button. At this point now, everything has been completed and you're ready to start the install process. So after doing a final review over all of the elements as far as the overview and the finalization, you can go ahead and click on install. Joomla is going to think for a moment and then you'll get congratulations. The last thing to point out to you though is you should see an orange box where you want to remove the installation files. This is something that you must do as far as finalizing your Joomla website. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the installation files. And now it tells me Joomla is installed. And if I click on the site full icon, you can now see that your Joomla site is up and running.